Chiefs taking on Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears. From one of the loudest venues in the National Football League, you get a look there at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Chicago Bears and the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that bad. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. First carry now for David Montgomery. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, here's Fields. They'll roll him out right. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down, Montgomery. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 40. Two yards, the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw his fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 37-yard line. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Fields throw complete here to commit. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. Fields. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny them the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Throwing again on second down. Fields. That's caught by Montgomery. And he is going to lose yardage here. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And he pushed forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Cairo Santos, former Chiefs kicker, on for the field goal try. This will be spotted at the 20, so it's a 30-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. 
And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now they're up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. And he fires one that's intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off, and they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They look to get something started. They need to down 10 0 early as they've got it first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help them feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. And you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take over once again and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go fields hit, and the ball is loose. And that will set him up in excellent shape. First and goal at the nine-yard line. After that play, I think we know one quarterback will be extremely happy if his defense can hold the opposing team to a field goal here. KC's offense ready to take over. And they are in an absolutely golden spot. It's first and goal following the fumble return. The defense gets in the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. as they run the counter play. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. On second and goal, Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey from six yards away. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. 
This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. Fields hit and the ball is loose. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the deep. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Michael Dana able to use that strength to get him for a loss of two. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Now it's Fields. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, I don't want to be a jinx partner, put the whammy on him, but I think we could be looking at all-time damn the ground with the way that he's going. Only a few quarterbacks in this league are capable of a 100-yard game, and he's halfway there just in the first quarter. This is a record-setting pace. Hopefully, he can keep it up, and we can have fun watching it. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. Here's Fields. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. That'd have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 19. Running left, Montgomery. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 11 now, Fields. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did. Now he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Chris Jones. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Santos kick is up and through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punt, 
points. You really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. A big play there for KC. 42 yards. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. He finds McKinnon complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. It's amazing how much advice defensive players get on third down. You hear the bench screaming out, watch the draw, watch the screen, watch the pass here. Very rarely did they reference watching the fullback, and he slipped through and picked up a first down. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect play to how to utilize him best when they get in close. Extra point by Butker is on target. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. 
They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Meanwhile, field throw there, complete to Mooney. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Fields. And it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. But what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. They'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So they take a decent shot, C.D., and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against it. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And he'll be out of bounds. And Mahomes finding his burner, Hardman, for the KC first. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey his way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and they are able to add on to their advantage so not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game he's done it here in the first half i'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches and being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game it's going to take a lot of effort, so maybe it'll open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out, and soon. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. That escapes the sand. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. 
Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. On second down, they'll run it here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On play action, it's Mahomes. Sliding out of the pocket. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Well, I could spin this negatively as he just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. 53 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Chiefs go up by two touchdowns. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shot at the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. First and ten, it's Herbert. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he still has yet 
that to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Bears on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and nine. A shotgun snap, Fields. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And here's Trenton Gill on to punt. And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the fair catch at about the eight-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 16, Mahomes going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Mahomes hit, he lost the football. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Shelf for Smith Schuster. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 72 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a handoff running through the middle. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And this is caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 39 yards there, a big one. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Play action, now it's Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Mahomes hit, he lost the football, and this is picked up by the Bears. He's at the 50, the 30, 10, 5, and they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears. Touchdown. How about that for a momentum swing? You had it goal to go. Not only do you cough it up, but they pick it up and return it all the way for a touchdown. And now you have to give oxygen to the entire team because what a letdown that was. Terrific drive. Look like you're going to get points. Instead, the other team registers them on the scoreboard. And now 
not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with an eight-point lead, probably not too much of an impetus to try and do too much here. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This from 44 yards out, left hash. Butker's kick here is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And oh my, mistake there. Backs up, takes a fair catch at the three-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. 101 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's a give up the middle. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. They'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. But they pick it up on third and one on the quarterback sneak, and that's not easily done because there are extra bodies in there on the defensive side, and they're moving forward at the snap. Yeah, I was certainly expecting a handoff, weren't you? Yeah, I totally was. I thought they'd go with a back, maybe try and get a lead blocker in front. But as you talk about in different games, those guys with confidence in their offensive line, they just want to move forward and get it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. 
you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. On second down, they'll run it here. And he's across the 43, extra yards to the 43. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold them. And that's going to be incomplete. The there enough to jump the ball free. And no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going any time he has open space. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Going top shelf for Smith Schuster. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate. the red zone now on first down. Now a handoff running through the middle. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. 136 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the 8-yard line, second and goal. <laughs> Here's a give up the middle. And he'll stop just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise. Methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, in a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Chris Jones that time coming in with a tackle behind the line. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. You call it an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Give him six yards in the first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On second down, they'll run it here, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 24-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And able to work his way down to the 16. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Mahomes now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Noah Gray, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. It took a pretty big risk right there, going for it on fourth down. But hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Butker now to kick this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Fields. Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. To the air again, Fields. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Chris Jones, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Throwing on second and long. Fields completes a movie on the slant. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. Here's Fields. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Fields now to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Trevon Wesco. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This time it's third and three. Again, Fields rolling to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That was Nick Bolton rushing in and burying him behind the line. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease.
Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. And the Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets them down to the six-yard line. to throw. Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown Bears. Chase Claypool from six yards away. And the Bears are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Santos with the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was finished off by the Chase Claypool touchdown catch. This taken in at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And this one is incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. They go play fake. Mahomes. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Juju Smith-Schuster, 39 yards. As his guys were able to push that lead out a bit further. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. On the return, it's Tristan Ebner from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Chicago offense set to get started. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Fields. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free. And that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or it could have gone for more. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. Fields on target to Mooney. First down, Chicago. It's a gain of six. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he finds Montgomery complete. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them. Go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Fields throwing again. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw again. Montgomery, another target and catch. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. Handoff for Herbert. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. On second down, a run with Herbert. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third, here's an option play right. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up the fourth down. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. On fourth down, Fields. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And this will be a gain of right around three from the seven out to the 10-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Interesting. Mahomes wants to throw it. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Defender was right there in his shorts. Is that one of those situations as a DB where you just tip your cap and say, nice catch? Well, you're supposed to, but a true competitor, he's not tipping his cap at all. He's upset he still didn't make the play. If it's a 50-50 ball or a moment of truth, he's got to win more than his fair share of them as well. Probably especially angry because if it was incomplete, it would have been fourth down. Exactly. Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. 
It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Kansas City.
tonight. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. and the New England Patriots taking on Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams. Just a beautiful fall night for football here in the Northeast as we are inside Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started and we are underway in Foxborough this fielded right at the goal line and taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line 